Osteoarthritis is a very common problem. It can affect any joint in your body, but also joints in your fingers and in the base of your thumb. Osteoarthritis is more common in people who are 45 years and over, but younger people also can suffer with osteoarthritis. The exact cause of hand osteoarthritis isn't known, but we know things like genetic factors, the jobs people did, any previous sports, injuries um, and sometimes pre-existing medical conditions can all make people more vulnerable to um, having osteoarthritis. So medical understanding of what osteoarthritis is, is changing. So it was traditionally thought of as wear and tear or damage to the cartilage, which is the, 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 the material that covers the end of joints, letting them move over one another. But now we know that osteoarthritis affects all of the joints, not just the cartilage. And actually, it's a process where the joint is trying to repair itself. But in some instances, for example, bone can overgrow. And so in the case of hand osteoarthritis, if bone has overgrown, you can see nodules um, of bone around the joints. So now we really view osteoarthritis as wear and repair, not wear and tear. X-rays are not always needed to diagnose osteoarthritis. So healthcare professionals can work out whether somebody's got osteoarthritis by asking about their symptoms and also by examining their joints. In the hand, that would be examining their fingers and their thumb joints. So people with osteoarthritis do not necessarily get sent to have an X-ray. Symptoms of osteoarthritis can change over time and also vary between different people. So symptoms can include pain in joints, tenderness in joints, stiffness. Um, some people also have reduced grip strength in the hand and that can make um, carrying out activities of daily living difficult. So for example, it might be difficult for people to use a pair of scissors or do up a button on the top. People's symptoms can come and go in phases. So it might be that somebody with hand osteoarthritis has a few months where the joints are painful, and then a few months where that pain eases off and they go through a period of time where it's more comfortable. Some people feel that their hand osteoarthritis reduces their overall quality of life. And some people also say it affects their mood. So some people report feeling frustrated about having osteoarthritis and not being able to do everything that they want to do. There's no cure for osteoarthritis, but the disease doesn't necessarily get worse. So there's lots of people who have mild joint damage, but not very many of those will progress to have severe joint damage or severe disability. The main concern of people with hand osteoarthritis is to remain active and to be able to carry on doing the activities they enjoy doing. There's lots of treatments that people with hand osteoarthritis can do at home to help them manage their symptoms. Anti-inflammatory creams like diclofenic gel can be bought over the counter and these medications have been shown to be effective. You can apply these medications directly over joints that hurt. As an alternative, people can take oral anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen for a small amount of time. Although the effectiveness of paracetamol is a little bit uncertain at the moment, they can also take this if they want to for a small amount of time. If people need more advice about pain relieving medication, they should speak to their doctor or pharmacist.